Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today, as you can see, we're going to be creating this super fun sun and a moon skull. So yeah, if you want to know how I created this look, or if you want to create this look along with me, please keep watching so today for this tutorial this look is inspired by the really really talented julia i'll link her instagram in my bio so to start off with i'm going to go in with some pink honey brow gel uh, this is the original hold one i find this is like the best one um, and i absolutely love it and then i'm going in with the p louise base in the shade rumor 05 i've just actually freshly had my brows waxed and tinted so this is why there's absolutely no hair usually they're a bit out of control and um, but yeah i'm basically just using a little flat brush and i'm just underlining my brows then I'm going in with the NARS foundation in the shade Stromboli and I'm also taking the Maybelline Superstay in Warm Sun. I'm just taking my beauty blender and blending that everywhere. Again, this doesn't need to be anything crazy, it's just to fill in all the gaps and stuff for when we do our eyeshadow and the skull. Take the extra large Carnival palette, I'll put my code on the screen, you guys can use that for makeup and tan and everything else. Um, but yeah, I'm basically just taking the orangey shades and I'm doing a little bit of like a half circle on my eye. I'm blending that out with the really bright orange shade, I think this is Keen. And then I'm taking that right underneath my eye as well. Then to darken up my waterline, I'm taking the Inglot gel liner in number 77. This is the most pigmented and easiest gel liner I've ever used ever. Then to give us that really nice like orange gradient into like a sunset kind of look, because this is going to be the side with the sun on it, I'm taking the shade Shuffle, which is like a really nice yellow colour. And I'm just basically blending that out with the Lick and Lash pigment in Canary and also the Peach and Cream pigment in Bollywood. I'm going to um, pat this on so I've done my cut crease and put that everywhere and also fill in the gaps from where I do my little sunshine look as well. I apologise for the state of my nails. Um, with all the Halloween looks and stuff, my nails are absolutely suffering from this. Um, and also one of my nails can't actually have a nail on it. So I do. I am aware there's no nail on that one. Um, but yeah, I'm just taking a little tiny brush and I'm taking the P. Louise base in the shade Zero. And I just basically stenciled out first where I wanted the sun rays to be. From really thin to a little bit more spread out. Um, this is basically just how I used to draw suns in school. <laughs> so I just like did the same thing. Um, but yeah, you can do these as thin or as thick as you want, as many or as little as you want. You can really like um, adapt it to your own eye shape and stuff. But I think it's really cool because the cut crease looks like the sun. So it ties in really well with that. So again, just patting that all over the lid and adding it to the little lines as well. I definitely recommend going over with a glitter. I think that really adds to like making it more a realistic sun rather than just leaving it nice and white. Um, but yeah, you can go in with glitter glue if you want, but mine stuck really well to the P. Louise base, so I just left mine as it was. Now, going in on the moon side, I'm just taking the baby blue shade and just carving out like roughly where I want the moon to be. Um, and I'm also going in with a few other darker shades, um, but yeah, I'm just building up that baby blue colour, blending it out really nice and fluffy. And then as you can see, I've gone in with more of a darker blue to intensify it. And then I actually went in with a dark blue and a purple. And then once you're happy with like the size of the blending and the blend and everything and the colour, I just took a really tiny angled brush. And again, with that P. Louise base in the shade zero, I mapped out a shape of a moon. Then this is a good little trick. I got this from Mama Mitchell on Instagram. So he took the P. Louise base and wrapped a baby wipe around it. So that's what I've done. And then I just basically wiped out all the products from the inside because we want the moon to be super white and really, really pigmented. So once we'd wiped away all that other eyeshadow and then went in again with the P. Louise base in the shade zero. Again, so it's really nice and white and really, really crisp up the edges. It doesn't look really neat now, but we're going with shadow a little later on and it makes it like, this is like a trust the process kind of stage. Um, so yeah, you just have to trust the process. But as you can see, I've then gone in and patted it all with white eyeshadow and then I actually took a black and a dark blue and I just went with a really tiny brush around the edges and that really, really sharpened everything up and made it look really crisp and you could definitely tell it was a moon rather than just a big C next to my eye. Then going in with the Urban Decay um, eyeliner, this is in Psychedelic Sister. These eyeliners are a little bit more expensive, I think they're like £16 each. No word of a lie, they are the creamiest eyeliners I've ever used in my whole entire life. They are so pigmented, really creamy and 
I literally absolutely love the skull shape on my face. So I'm doing the little temple bone at the side of my head and then also drawing a line down and mimicking where my jawline and where my teeth would be as well. So as you can see, I'm really taking my time. Um, and yeah, I did the exact same on the other side. Don't worry if this, again, honestly, this look, even though at the end it does look quite neat, these steps don't have to be absolutely ideal. Because we are adding so much shadow and we're blending it and everything, these lines don't need to be, like, really, really perfect. Um, probably the only line that needs to be straight is this one I'm doing right now, because that really adds to, like, the effect that you've got, like, a really sharp jaw. Um, and I also like to link that underneath my chin as well. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm just doing... My little outlines and um, drawing in those bits which we're going to carve in and make nice and dark and then I also did a little line connecting my lips to that bit for my teeth so as you can see I've just gone in with that really nice orange shade and I've started to just blend around the outsides first and um, as you can see it blended with the purple really nicely so a purple liner is really good to use because it blends really well with blue and also really well with orange so I'm just taking the, I think that's the Morphe M462 brush and then with a big fluffy Molly O'Brien brush I'm taking that shade again, shuffle um, or any kind of yellow and going around the edges. So if you don't have like a really vibrant orange I would definitely recommend just using like a normal orange or a red and then as soon as you mix it with yellow it really really makes the orange pop. And then on the blue side, I'm doing the same. So I went in with a dark blue first and then I'm starting to blend out gradually with the baby blue. And you want these bits to kind of like fill in. The only bit that isn't really fill, uh, filled in with eyeshadow is like the middle of my nose. So everything else I did want to be like colourful. So as you can see, I'm gradually blending it out, but my skin altogether will be almost painted with eyeshadow, if you will. Um, and I'm just blending in to the eyeshadow that we did previously. Now onto lips. I'm sorry this is not like the best frame. I kept looking down into the mirror. I was concentrating so bad. Um, but yeah, I basically used a black eyeliner first, marked out where I wanted my teeth to be. I think I did six on each side. And then again, this is like my holy grail for this look. I took the P. Louise base in the shade Zero on a little rounded brush, which was absolutely perfect for mimicking teeth. Um, and basically just drew them little teeth on in between the lines um, and this really helped create like more of a realistic skull and saves you a lot of time rather than like wiping away the shadow I just went on top with a really bright white um, and yeah we're gonna go in with the shade Famous from Peaches and Cream and I also took the shade Pool Party from Peaches and Cream as well for the blue side um, and a little flat brush and we're just popping that over the teeth to make them a little bit more a little bit extra really um, rather than just pl blurring plain white teeth and then on the yellow side, we're taking the gold and making it nice and gold as well on the teeth. See, I'm just doing the teeth. Um, I'll pop a little bit of music over this bit because basically once I've done the teeth, I'm just going into a bit more detail with some shading, um, colouring in the lines a little bit. And yeah, you can kind of see on the video and I don't want to like bore you guys by talking the whole way through it as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to add some music and this is where I'm going to add in all the little details that really pull the look together. Together. Now going in with lashes, this is mine and Giada Cosmetics collab. These are the Stay Up Lash, so we have actually two lashes, the Wake Up and Stay Up. These are, I know it's really biased to say, but literally my favourite, like, really fluffy, dramatic lashes. I feel like they just go with every look. They're really, really fluffy and light to wear. And yeah, I am so proud of them. I absolutely love them to bits. So I'm just sticking them on, and then I'm just taking two highlighters from, one's from Lick and Lash Beauty, and the other is Unicorn Cosmetics. 
cosmetics so the unicorn cosmetics one is the one i'm currently using as it's got a really nice purple tinge to it which i thought goes really well with like the blue colors and stuff and then the other one has a really lovely golden tinge um and a really nice golden glow which obviously goes with the sunset so now moving on to adding the gems um this is quite self-explanatory i'm basically just adding lash glue um to my face and you can get as creative with this as you like you don't have to do this bit but i think this really adds to the skull so yeah you can add as many or as little as you like um and then after this i'm just basically drawing the is it like the trachea outline onto my neck um i actually did this look stupidly late at night so by this point it was like two in the morning or something like that so i literally didn't spend loads of time on this because i didn't i just wanted it to just add to the look a little bit so you can literally leave this bit or you can just do what i did i literally just slapped on some eyeshadow and a little bit of white paint and yeah that is basically how i did my neck bit so guys this is the finished look i really really hope that you like this tutorial i hope that you're liking more of my creative looks but i will be doing no makeup soon and yeah i really hope you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already and yeah i'll see you soon for another one bye guys